Hello everybody, this is Scott Stewart with Slabtown Customs out of Mountain View, Arkansas. Uh, we've got another video today of one of our uh, tiny houses. Uh, this is a custom custom design, custom unit. Um, this is 8x24 and this is called the Dubber unit. Um, as you can see, uh, this actually, this house is built on skids, but it is loaded on trailer ready for delivery. It's about to hit the road. We've got our lap siding, um, kind of a gray color, and we've trimmed and metal is a burnished slate color and uh, we have metal trim j molding and stuff around the windows the doors and then our metal metal trim on the corners and gables as well so uh, new style on the trim we tried out on this unit to see how it worked out anyway we'll go inside here and give you a look <clears throat> this is a uh, we got a three foot nine light entry door pretty standard for us and again, this is 8x24. Uh, about half of this unit is living area. Eight, about 8x12 area here for the living room. Uh, you can see, pretty standard for us. Uh, this is spruce, 1x8 tongue and groove, 3 quarter inch thick beaded car siding. And uh, we've got our cherry hardwood laminate flooring. We've got a 3030 window here on one side in the living area. We've got a 2030 in the end. And then, of course, the uh, 9 light window in the door. Um, this unit, I guess you could call it has a sunken living room, only it's not really sunken since you walk into the living room, but our uh, kitchen and bathroom area are elevated a little bit, and uh, that area right there is a pull-out bed. That's a full-size bed that pulls out, and uh, I'm sorry I can't pull it out for you. We've already got it strapped down, ready to, ready to hit the road, uh, but again, that is a full-size bed, and it has some storage on this end of it, almost like a built-in cedar chest sort of thing on this end of it. Uh, we'll maybe try to get some shots of that, still pictures to add to the to the video later. Uh, this uh, this unit is set up on a 30 amp 110 volt service like a standard RV and that unit right there that's a that's a heat and air combo. Got a little window there looking into the kitchen. Um, anyway we'll go up and take a look. Got just a few steps going up into the kitchen area here. Got a 2030 window on each side of the kitchen above the sink and opposite uh, double basin sink we got a uh, toaster convection oven mounted up high and some pine cabinets that go to the ceiling the little cooktop will sit below that got oak base cabinets um, as well as a couple of oak wall cabinets mounted above here uh, we have a 10 cubic foot top mount freezer fridge they have the microwave mounted above it with Again, some storage that goes all the way to the ceiling. Uh, this unit has a pretty good sized loft. As you can see, we've got kind of a combination between a, uh, steps and a ladder, kind of a ship's ladder, so to speak, going into the loft here. Uh, this is about a 100 square foot loft. It's above the living area. And we've got pretty tall side walls on it. Lots of outlets, light. Um, it's kind of a uh, Pretty easy to get in now this loft with this ladder and we have the railings on one side and then of course the, the kitchen storage on this side as well and it gives a little bit of privacy there in the loft. We'll pan around here, go into the bathroom area. We've got a pocket door going in here. Uh, we've got a five foot standard tub shower combo in this bathroom. So you can see we've got our screens and the lid from the toilet in the bathtub ready for delivery. Full size standard house toilet. A 2030 window in the bathroom. We've got a two foot wide vanity sink. Uh, set in medicine cabinet goes in the wall. Light bar above it. And then we have some storage in here as well. Goes all the way to the ceiling. Lower storage has a rod for hanging clothes. Got some open shelf storage. And then two sets of doors as well above. So, uh, kind of a common layout for us as far as bathrooms go. Again this unit set up on a 30 amp 110 RV service. We've got a 19 gallon water heater, electric water heater in this unit. So uh, as usual if you have any questions or ideas please call me anytime at 870-213-5310 or send me an email at ozarksbest at yahoo.com. Uh, thanks for watching folks. We appreciate the support.